in this video, you will know how and when ISRO is formed and its challenges. From carrying a part of each rocket on a bicycle to finding water on the moon, the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO has come a long way since its inception and has been recognized as a space research center. In 1957, the United States and the Soviet Union were leading the space dominance. When the Soviet Union launched the world's first satellite named Sputnik, Indian scientists realized the need to pace up and then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru asked to take up the responsibility of space research. An Indian space journey began after Dr. Bikram Sarabhai formed Indian National Committee for Space Research in 1962. In short form, it is called INCOSPER, a time when Space as a scientific field has emerged as the next frontier of human space. And then, INCOSPER has begun preparing to launch it India's first rocket from Tumba, a rural pocket in Chiruvanam Thaburam, Kerala. But Tumba have neither the launch pad nor research facilities to make the launch possible. So, scientists converted a church into their workshops and a bishop's house into their office. There were other logistic challenges. The new base did not have a canteen, so scientists had to cycle to Thiruvaram Thapuram railway station every day for breakfast and dinner, and some rocket parts has to be transported to launch pad on bicycle and bullock carts. On November 21, 1963, India successfully launched its first ever rocket, and six years later, on 15 August 22nd Independence Day, ISRO was formed out of in In 1972, ISRO became a part of the newly formed Department of Space. ISRO was formed with a vision to develop a harness space technology in national development while pursuing planetary exploration and space science research. Then, in 1980, ISRO successfully launched Rohini RS-1 using a satellite launch vehicle SLV-3. Dr. Colum was the project director of SLV-3. A year later, ISRO wanted to launch an experimental communication satellite named Apple, but the satellite antenna had to be tested under a thermal blanket, and ISRO did not have the facility to do so at that time. So Apple was then put on a bullock cart to provide a non-magnetic atmosphere and test the antennas in the field. This is the incident that became the defining image of the early age of ISRO and the challenges it faced. Apple was then successfully launched on 19 June 1981 from Kuro, France, Guinea. In 1994, ISRO successfully launched its first polar satellite launch vehicle, PSLV and GSLV. The PSLV later became the choice for Chandrayana-1 and Mangalyaan mission. Four years later, Chandrayana-1 was launched to land on the moon. In November 2008, Chandrayana-1 discovered water on the moon, giving a huge boost to ISRO and India's position in the space research. And in 2013, ISRO successfully launched the Mangalyaan mission. And on September 24, the next year, when the Mangalyaan entered the orbit of the Mars, India has become the first country in the world to do so in the first attempt. And also in 2017, ISRO broke a record by launching 104 satellites in a single launch, breaking the earlier record of 37 satellites in a one go held by Russia. Indian Space Research Organization has come a long way since its formation on 15 August 1969, from launching a small rocket of just 30 to 7 kg payloads to carrying 40,000 kg payloads to the outer space. ISRO became the fourth space agency in the world and the first in Asia. And also, ISRO's Andreana 2 launch in 2019 was a partial success. Among the many successful missions of ISRO, there are also some unsuccessful missions such as GSLV F10 on 12 August 2021, PSLV C39 on August 31, 2017. GSLV F06 on December 25, 2010. GSLV D3 on April 15, 2010. GSLV F02 on July 10, 2016. PSLV D1 on September 20, 1993. ASLV D2 on 13 July 1988. 
ASLV D1 on March 24, 1987, SLV 3E1 on 10 August 1979, and many other unlaunched missions of ISRO is also there.